that is a very real, very real possibility that she might not be with us. Karen Wilcox is talking about her sister, who she last saw one July night in 1972. I always felt like people thought I should know, uh, and maybe I was keeping a secret somehow or something. And Karen was only one year older than her sister, and although they shared secrets just like they shared a bedroom, the last secret Kathy Sue shared, Karen wasn't able to keep. I blamed myself, though, because if I hadn't told, you know, she'd still be here. Kathy Wilcox had just finished the ninth grade the night she left the house and never returned. Karen says she had just gotten a job babysitting for a Christmas tree farming family. You know, both boys. Boys that Karen says she believed Kathy was experimenting with. It was significant enough, the things that she was telling me, that I was scared for her, so I told on her. Her stepmother confronted Kathy when she returned home, and it turned into a heated argument between the two. She went down the steps. She turned back. She said, I will never talk to you again, ever. They didn't know it then, but that statement would hold true 43 years later. I have thought there's some connection between that Christmas tree farming family, not maybe not the family themselves, but what was taking place out there. Because... Um, Kathy started to change about that time, and it really it seemed like it happened fast. Karen still remembers the pain when Kathy's case was closed before school started that same summer. My thoughts were, um, we weren't rich enough. We were not important enough. Um, you know, our, my sister's life doesn't matter. I, I don't know how much of that my dad felt like that too, but it was such a helpless thing. It was a helpless feeling thinking there wasn't anything we could do. Later, her case would be reopened as well as she would be put on the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, including age progression pictures. Right now, Kathy would be in her late 50s. More recently, a Facebook page created for any tips people might have about what happened to her baby sister. I see the look on people's faces when they um, ask me the question if I think she's still with us, and I say yes. I see the look that says, She's not living in the real world. She's in denial or something. But Karen says as long as there's not a body, there's still hope. Somebody knows something. Somebody knows something. Now, if you have any information on this case, please contact the Allegan County Silent Observer. That number is on the bottom of your screen. Live in the control room, Cassandra Arsenal, Fox 17 News. Cassie.